According to the Gospels, Jesus' earthly ministry centered around the Sea of Galilee. While important events occurred in Jerusalem, Jesus spent most of the three years of his ministry along the shore of this freshwater lake. Here, he gave more than half of his parables, and here he performed most of his miracles. Good morning. Today is Friday. The time is 5.30 in the morning. And why did we get up so early? It's because we are going to the north. And today we are going in the footsteps of Jesus. Jesus was born here in Israel a long time ago. I was uh, too young, I can't remember. He was a good guy and uh, he did a lot of things. So we are going to go follow his footsteps, listen to the stories. Basically, we are going north to, the, uh, to Tiberias and the uh, Sea of Galilee. And we are going to visit the th these three churches. The geriatrics today will be a big group. I think that we will be something like 12 motorcycles, even more. So I guess uh, uh, it's going to be a nice trip. We are going to listen to a lot of stories, maybe eat something nice and be back uh, before the evening comes because afterwards we'll go dancing. <laughs> so uh, if you uh, have nothing to do in this uh, coming days, so uh, just join us and uh, I wish you all a happy new year. Time to go. You can see it's still dark outside. David is ready. I guess he's excited. It's been a while since he went on a long trip. Hi, David. You okay? <laughs> yeah, he is fine. Looks like the sun is going to go up soon. Let's get out of here. Yael is uh, already took off to the uh, gas station to fill up her tank. We have enough until the next gas station, so there's no problem. I will meet her in the usual junction. It's not so cold, it's even nice. The geriatrics ride again. The first part of uh, our trip as usual is going to be on the highway so I guess it's not going to be that interesting um, as usual if something really important will happen I will tell you people of the morning just arrived to the junction sun is coming up slowly let's see if Yael is already there the gas station is not so far away yeah I think I can see her motorcycle you see over there the, the red dot that that's her probably yes that's her okay let's go arrived at the famous gas station where we are all going to meet the members of the geriatric motorcycle group they should be scattered here but first we have to fuel up David has a huge tank and I believe that if it will last for the whole day but whatever here is Gadi. And Massimo. To my astonishment, all the members of the group arrived just in time. I admit that sometimes they amaze me. Well, it was much tougher to get them all going on. We 
even had a few new members this time, a couple on an Africa Queen and another on a Ducati Multistrada. Well, the more, the merrier. The first thing when you ride in a group and when you lead them is to gather them all together. So this is where they are all waiting. Only Jerry is left behind. We have a few motorcycles that will come from the north. Riding time is something like one hour and 20 minutes, maybe less. There shouldn't be any much traffic, so it should be fine. Over there is the Sea of Galilee. The lake is called Kineret in Hebrew. Kineret. <laughs> we are five minutes away from our first church. I won't tell you the name yet because it's a secret. Well, it's not really a secret. You will find out soon enough. There are a few more motorcyclists over there. Seems like I managed to keep the group together. Okay. It's getting a bit warmer, which is very nice. So good to be off the highway, boring highways. David hates them. Beautiful sunrise. first church of the day was the Church of the Beatitudes. The entrance to the church will cost you something like 10 shekels, which is uh, two and a half dollars. This is uh, where we met the rest three motorcyclists of the group who joined us from the north. The Church of Beatitudes is a Roman Catholic church located on the Mount of Beatitudes by the Sea of Galilee near Tabcha and Kfar Mahum. The church is located on a small hill overlooking the Sea of Galilee, the traditional mount on which Jesus delivered the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount is a collection of sayings attributed to Jesus of Nazareth found in the Gospel of Matthew that emphasizes his moral teachings. It is the first of five discourses in the Gospel and has been one of the most widely quoted sections. In almost all cases, the verses used in the Beatitudes are familiar from an Old Testament context, but in the sermon Jesus gives them new meaning. Together, the Beatitudes present a new set of ideas that focus on love and humility rather than force and mastery. They echo the highest ideals of Jesus, teaching on spirituality and compassion. The modern church was built between 1936 and 1938 near the site of the 4th century Byzantine ruins. The floor plan is octagonal, the eight sides representing the eight Beatitudes. The church is neo-Byzantine in style with a marble veneer casing the lower interior walls and gold mosaic in the dome. Around the altar are mosaic symbols on the pavement representing justice, prudence, fortitude, temperance, faith, hope, and charity. The church was designed by the famous architect Antonio Barluzzi under commission from the Italian Mission Society with the funding from Benito Mussolini. Our lecture for today was Dr. Esti Dahan, who kept the geriatrics interested along the whole day. It was time to gather the group 
and ride to our next church of the day, the Church of the Multiplication. The Church of the Multiplication of the Loaves and Fish, shortened to the Church of the Multiplication, is a Roman Catholic church located at Tabcha, on the northwest shore of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. The modern church rests on the site of two earlier churches. The miracle of the five loaves and two fish is telling the story of how Jesus used five loaves and two fish supplied by a boy to feed some 5,000 men. I just wonder, if Jesus was here today, what would he say when he will see all this place and the things that are happening here? I wonder. Do you think he would be happy? Not sure. The first Byzantine church was erected in the 4th century. It was built alongside the important road that passed by and was erected basically around 350 AC by Joseph of Tiberius. The church was significantly enlarged around the year 480 with floor mosaics also added at this time. These renovations are attributed to the Patriarch Martyrus of Jerusalem. In 614 AC, Persians destroyed the Byzantine church. After the destruction, the exact site of the shrine was lost for some 1,300 years. Only in uh, 1,888, the site was acquired by the German Catholic Society for Palestine. An initial archaeological survey was conducted in 1892 with full excavations beginning in 1932. These excavations resulted in the discovery of mosaic floors from the 5th century church, which was also found to be built on the foundations of a much smaller 4th century chapel. Since 1939, the property has been administered by the Benedictine Order as a daughter house of the Dormition Abbey in Jerusalem. The ground was bought in 1888 by the German Catholic Palestine Mission. Archaeological research started in 1892. In the 1930s, a provincial protective structure was erected above the Holy Rock and the Byzantine mosaics. The current church was built to the same floor plan as the 5th century Byzantine church. Some of the ancient black basalt wall have survived and remain visible. Our third point of interest of the day was the Monastery of the Holy Apostles where Savion executed his own Mandarin miracle. The Greek Orthodox Church of the Holy Apostles is commonly used simply Church of the Apostles is the church at the center of the Greek Orthodox Monastery of the Holy Apostles at Kfar Mahun, standing among the ruins of ancient Kfar Mahun near the shore of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. It is also known as simply the Greek Orthodox Church at Kfar Mahun. The church marks the site of the ancient village of Kfar Mahum, which is an important place in Christianity. The 
village is frequently mentioned in the Gospels and was Jesus' main base during his Galilean ministry. It is referred to as Jesus' own city and the place where he lived. It was the synagogue of Farnachum where he first started to preach. Very nice church, but it's time to go have some lunch. So the group is heading to towards uh, Tiberias, uh, the old city, and uh, our restaurant is supposed to be there. Let's hope it's a good one. Never been there. Very nice road that takes us along the uh, Galilee Sea. Came a bit windy, but it's not cold which is nice. The ride to the restaurant in Tiberias will take us something like 20 minutes. Beautiful area in this, uh, beautiful weather in this area. I remember myself as a kid, and my father used to bring us here a long time ago. We used to camp along the shores of uh, this lake. The time is almost 2 o'clock, 26 degrees, how lovely, you wouldn't believe it's winter. It's time to leave the city, Tiberias, very busy during this uh, Friday, the beginning of the Israeli weekend. It's time to go home, so uh, soon enough we will be on the highway. And I guess that there will be nothing to tell. So I will uh, depart from you guys. So if you like this episode, please give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will be very happy to see you in the next episode of the Geriatric Motorcycle Group. Have a nice weekend.